we ever played in New York, we played at um, the, Fe the Fez. Does that place exist? And it's got like a, a subway. The, it's basically a subway stop, and you just you play for quarters. Um, and there was like maybe like six people there. And after the show, our, our tour manager, who was also a friend of ours, we picked him up at an open gym. That's what you do when you're starting out. And um, he had a gas card that his dad paid for, so he used to pay for the gas. So that's why we kept him along for a while. And, um, anyway, he, play, he was tour managing us when we played the Fez. And when we got off stage, he was like, I don't know how I'll do it. He's like, the only band that should be on stage, the only band that's not embarrassing to be on stage is Raiding Ahead. And I was like, I'm really depressed. <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that. Because when you're starting out, the role of the tour manager is basically like mom. They're your mom, but usually they're a guy. So they don't. He, Mr. Mom, yeah. He was when you, sometimes when I would cry with him, like his name was Mike. And sometimes I would start crying, and he's like, let me tell you something that you should, should be crying about. And I would be like, that doesn't fucking help me. And he would be like, I'd, you know, like I would be like, what am I doing? I'm horrible. I don't deserve to be a musician. I should go home. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Are you with the Are you with the heckler guy? Like, yeah. one time I told him how we were on a really long road trip and we were talking about stupid things we've done, and then he kind of he started driving with his knees and he pulled his shirt off and he got the Molson Canadian leaf, it's like a beer. He got the leaf tattooed on his one. He's like, now that's stupid. 